is, is chlorine a metal or a nonmetal? So to be able to determine this, you have to look at the periodic table. Uh, so the periodic table may seem like a random assortment of elements, but they're actually arranged very systematically um, in different rows and different columns. So the elements are arranged in order of increasing atomic number, such that elements with the same chemical and physical properties lie in the same group. Uh, so now in the periodic table, the um, horizontal rows, so going from left to right, are called periods, and the vertical columns, so up and down, are called groups. So within the periodic table, the elements are further classified as metals, nonmetals, and metalloids. Uh, so here, the, all the elements in yellow are the metals. All the elements in blue are nonmetals. And in green are the metalloids, which form this kind of like staircase divide between the metals and the nonmetals. So as the chlorine atom is in this square here, it is a nonmetal. Um, if it were pretty well anywhere else in the periodic table, it would most likely be a metal. Um, uh, so one thing to note is that um, in your periodic table, uh, when you get like a printout of the periodic table for your exam, um, it is generally in black and white, so it will not be color coded like this. Um, so it's important to just kind of have a rough idea as to where the metals are, the nonmetals, and where that metalloid staircase is in between the two.